Hey Farouk here, let me ask you a quick question. Do you know why you're in rating mode versus degree mode in your calculator when you're solving these FE type questions? So do you intentionally know exactly why you're in a certain mode when solving questions? If not, that's okay. Maybe you've been just keeping it in degree mode and you're getting the right answers. You don't know exactly why. Maybe you're staying in degree mode. You have the good habit, let's say, of converting, let's say, two pi radians to degrees, then using, let's say, your sine function and plugging in degrees and just keeping it in degree mode. That will get you the right answer. But what we're going to talk about today is developing that intentional problem solving ability of knowing when you should be in degree mode and when you should be in radian mode. Now let's keep it short and sweet by looking at some examples that will help us know when to use that degree mode versus radian mode. So the, for the first part, let's focus on the degree mode first. So we know we want to use degrees if the variables or the angles are measured in degrees. In other words, if you're given degrees, let's say in a problem statement gives you 45 degrees, make sure you're in degree mode. And degrees has that degree symbol. So the degree symbol is that circle. And that circle is in this example, right? It's going to be sine of 82 degrees. And you want to keep your calculator in degrees anytime you're given degree units. So when you do this, you should get this in degree mode. So now let's move on to the radian mode. So when do we use the radian mode? So use the radians if the variables or the angles do not have any units or are in terms of pi. So there's two things that we can have. They do not have any units, so we don't have any units. Or you may be given, let's say, the variable for x or things in terms of pi. In terms of pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, whatever. Everything in terms of pi. So two things. And let's look at some examples for that. So this example says cosine of x when x equals 3 pi over 2. Notice what do we have for x. x has a pi, 3 pi over 2. So when we plug this x into cosine of x, we want to make sure our calculator is in what mode? Radian mode. Radian mode. So when you do that, you should get 0. If you are in degree mode, you'll get a different answer, and that would be incorrect. And maybe the FP will try to trick you by giving you answer choices just to catch your mistakes. They want to know you're actually intentional about what mode you're in and you know what you're doing. So it should equal to zero in radian mode. So now let's look at this example. It says tan of x when x equals five. So what mode would this be? It has to be in radian mode, not degree. Notice it says x equals five and it doesn't have the degree. It doesn't have that degree symbol. So you want to keep it in radian mode. So we take x and put it in here, tan of 5, you should get negative 3.381 in radian mode. If you were to do it in degree mode, you'll get a different answer, and that would be incorrect. So in summary, if you understand this part, you should be set. So it says, if there is a degree symbol, then use degree mode. We have a degree symbol, use degree mode. If there is no degree symbol, then use radian mode even if there's no pi in the number. We don't have to have a pi, but if we have no degree symbol, use radian mode. So let's look and finish this off by quick examples. So two sine of x when x equals two. So this is saying we take x, put it in here. You wanna use radian mode because the two has no degree symbol. This two has no degree symbol, use radian mode. So this one, cosine of pi pi over two, we wanna use radian mode because there's no degree symbol. And also another hint is it's going to be 5 pi. It has a pi, so radian mode. This one, secant of 3 pi, radian mode because there's no degree symbol. Sine of 60 degrees, we use degree mode because there's a degree symbol. 60 degrees, it has that degree symbol. Tan of negative 45 degrees, we use degree mode because there is a degree symbol. So that's all I have for today. I just wanted to make sure I answered this very common question. When do I use radian mode versus degree mode? And also if you're getting started with your FE exam preparation and you're looking to kickstart your FE exam journey, check out the free resources I have below. And thank you for your practice and I'll see you in the next video.